Hey, Hope Point, it's that time of year again, 21 days of prayer and fasting. This is the track that the train runs on. It's always an amazing time of year for our church, and I just want to encourage you to be expectant for all that God is gonna do. We're gonna take this journey, and if you're new to prayer and fasting, then make sure you get that devotional booklet. It's gonna help you journey with us through the entire 21 days. God is gonna do incredible things, and I just want you to raise your faith and set your expectation really high for all that he's gonna do in and through this time. The theme for this year is rain. And it's so funny because as we were getting ready to film, you know, the forecast is calling for rain. So we're having to move our locations, move our times, make sure that we work around that. And I just thought that that was so fitting. As I looked at the forecast, it said, there'll be rain today, but it won't impact the drought. And I thought to myself, wow, whenever God shows up, whenever his presence shows up, he always impacts drought. He always impacts the dry places in our lives. The earth is covered in about 70% water. 96.5% of that water is trapped in the oceans, which means it can't even be really accessed by us. Only about 1% of all the water on the earth is accessed on the surface. If you drink the wrong kinds of water, you're gonna get dehydrated like salt water. It reminds me of a lot of things that we reach for in life, right? A lot of times we'll look for things to satisfy us and refresh us, and they just don't. They actually do the opposite. They deplete us. This year, I wanna encourage you to reach for God's presence. I wanna encourage you to reach for prayer. I wanna encourage you to reach for worship. I wanna encourage you to reach for God's word because I believe that our church this year is going to experience the reign of God's presence, his refreshing and miracles. You know, whenever God shows up, he does something amazing. And if you look behind me, we're gonna be talking a lot about miracles. This building is a miracle. It took almost four years from inception to completion, and we went through so many hurdles. And there are so many miracles that God wants to do. When I think of rain, I think of refreshing. When I think of God's presence, I think of miracles. When I think of rain, I think of harvest. Our verse for this year is Hosea 6.3. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. You know, whenever rain happened, harvest happened. This year, I believe that we're going to experience one of the greatest harvests of souls that we've ever experienced. Growth in our church, life in abundance in our church. There's a lot of people that you've been praying for for a long time. Let's believe together that they're gonna to come to know the Lord. Are you ready for rain? 